Hey, what's going on guys? What you see right here is something I posted on Facebook last night. A little creation that Andrew came up with. It's a DOTS T-PAR system accompanied with a mounted ADJ sweeper beam quad. We're gonna show you how we did it in this video. Check it out. So what you're gonna need to do this job is obviously an ADJ DOTS T-PAR system, an ADJ sweeper beam quad LED, some bolts, and some mounting brackets. The sweeper beam comes with mounting brackets. They kind of look like what you'd use to mount a moving head. Get those bolted onto your sweeper beam. So here's a set of brackets that I believe came off the old mega bars. So you need these or something like this. You kind of will get the idea. You will also need some hardware store stuff like this bolt, nut, and a couple of these washers. And what you're going to do is put it together like this. Stick it in there, pop the other washer on, Let's stick a nut on the other side, takes me a minute to do it, and in the end you'll have something that looks like this, do that on both sides. The dots part system comes with its own tripod, let's take a look at the top. There's a track in these little bolts that stick out of it that you can put this little thumb screw on and mount lights to. So we're going to utilize that. There's one on each side. Now it's time to install the sweeper beam. What we're going to do is just line up these bolts in a way where the sweeper beam is going to sit on here even. And you just use your thumb screws to attach it. Now to plug everything in, you simply just plug in your DOTS T-PAR system. On the DOTS T-PAR system, you have a choice of two places you can plug in accessories. One place is Power Out 1, another place is Power Out 2. We're using Power Out 2 to power up our sweeper beam. Alright, time to test the power. We're going to use the remote control. The top button is Blackout. I have it blacked out right now. Hit that button. goes on. Hit it again. It goes off. Now, if you look real close here, we've got on off for power outlet one and power outlet two. I'm going to turn power outlet two on by pushing this button. Something clicked. It is our sweeper beam. So we've turned it on using the remote control. So now the sweeper beam is running. We can turn on the T pars easily. We can turn them off if we want to. Let's go ahead and haze the room up and see what happens. <laughs> So what do you think? It's just a concept and it's kind of a cool one. I mean, it takes a little bit of thinking and a little bit of modification, but it can be done. Kind of a cool effect when it's all said and done. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Practice and enjoy.